everyone and welcome back to The Colour Cave where we like to play with art stuff. My name is Gem and I finally have a scroller box in my grasp. My original box went missing in the mail and scroller box were kind enough to send me out another one in its place. So just before we get to top down view I would just like to remind everyone that if you haven't made a suggestion for the next set of coffee funded videos head over to the community tab. There is a post there where you can leave your suggestions of what you would like me to spend the donation money on for the next set of videos. Have a scroll through, see if there's any that you like that are there already and give them a thumbs up as well, that would be great. Anyway, I have waited long and weary for this scroller box, so let's get to top down view now and we can get going. Okay, so no messing around this time because we are late. I have by some miracle managed to stay away from social media and not spoil this for me. You, you know by now that I like to do my unboxings blind. This is still going to be quite exciting for me. Um, I don't know if any of you are actually going to watch this video now because I would imagine by now you'd have seen more scroller box unboxings than you knew what to do with. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> I know whose artwork this is. Uh, this is this belongs to Casey Golden. She has a very distinctive style, and it's really nice to see her art inside the scroller box. And uh, yeah, these they look like rabbits, but they're actually ants. They're just ants with four legs and big ears. <laughs> but she draws a lot of stuff like this, and I absolutely love her artwork. It's amazing. Ta da I was right. Yeah, you can check out her YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel's pretty good. Uh, she has quite a variety of things on there. I am a watcher and a subscriber of her channel. And you can also see her Twitter and Instagram stuff there as well. So she's, um, she lives in Canada. She's not Canadian, she's American, but she lives in Canada. Uh, there you go. That's Casey Golden. Now, we have got paper here. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna be watercolors in here because that is uh, Casey's primary medium and this, this has obviously been done in watercolor. And we do have two sheets of paper that look surprisingly like watercolor paper, which is good. And it looks quite textured, so it's cold pressed paper. Okay, let's dig in here. I know I say this every month, but I love it when everything sits in the in the little tissue paper and it's still nice and neat and tidy. <laughs> Uh, appeals to my neat and organised side. Okay, so we've got our list of uh, supplies, which I'm not going to look at just yet. I like to, I like everything to be a surprise for my good self. Yeah, we've got a watercolour scroller box sticker. How exciting! Okay, what's this in here? A Windsor and Newton fine liner, a 0 0.8. That's um, yeah, that's quite a hefty hefty tip that's on that. A 0 0.8 is not something I think I would use all that often. I prefer teeny tiny uh, fine liners but it feels really nice, it's really smooth and I'm quite appreciating that it's got quite a long uh, a long point on it. You know this comes tapers down so we can test that out in a little minute. Our sweet which is a Jolly Rancher, a green apple Jolly Rancher, yes. Um, what have we got here? A Pentel Orens mechanical pencil. Again, a mechanical pencil is something that Casey Golden favours, but um, yeah, I don't think it's this one that she uses. But that feels really good as well. It's, it's, it's kind of a good weight in it and um, yeah, yeah, that feels good quality. I wonder what the kind of lead's in it though. Oh, we have a paintbrush. A Milan number six round. I have more number six round paintbrushes than I can shake a paintbrush at. Uh, I've never tried a Milan brand paintbrush, so this will be interesting. I love it when they're nice and new like this and they've got this lovely point on them. It makes me really happy. That's really sad, isn't it? Okay. Oh, the Viva watercolour sheets. I have seen these before. I have never used them, but I have seen these being used and they were sort of um, over reviewed at one point when they first came out. There's, there's a couple of different brands that do them. And basically it's just watercolour on paper which sounds kind of weird, but it surprisingly works quite well. What else we got? <laughs> and we've got a little postcard from uh, from Casey Golden as well. So you can, you can paint your own one if you really like her artwork. You can paint it yourself. That's that's really cool. I really like that. Oh, 
I painted this for you with the Viviva colour sheets included in the September scroller box. So she did actually use the sheets, which is nice because I know that the, the featured artist doesn't always use exactly the same supplies that we get in our box. Okay, cool. The best time to get creative is in the moment, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're touting these as like travel watercolours because obviously they're compact and you can get lots of colours and blah, blah, blah. I don't know if this is meant to be a bookmark or it's just a the oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see what it says about these. 16 colours, which is nice. And they do have, a, this was going to be my next concern, if you're travelling with this, surely if you've wet something and uh, you know, like you've, you've used it to paint and then you close the book, it's going to taint the page next to it, but they do have little protective sheets in between. And some of these colours look absolutely, oh look, my favourite, <laughs> green. I like how it's got the, the little swatches at the bottom here as well, so that you can just like quickly flip, like I need yellow, okay, so I'm going to go here. And that takes you to the, the yellowish colours, that's good, I like that. This seems to be quite well made, this little booklet. I do like it. Some of the paint is, it looks really interesting. This is magenta. It looks really interesting on, on, the, on the paper. But I imagine that, um, I imagine that once you wet it, it'll that'll sort of activate it. It tells you where you can get replacement sheets as well, which is good to know, because I imagine you could go through these quite quickly. And what is this for? Stick this to the main booklet. Okay, I think this is like some kind of stand. That would make sense as well. I don't know. Handmade with love. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I still don't know what this is for. Milan Round Synthetic Brush, blah, blah, blah. Matte Black Finish, Synthetic Bristles. Okay, so that's quite a cheap paintbrush, but that's okay. I don't mind a cheap paintbrush. Okay, let's see what it says about the Windsor Newton Fine Liner. Superior quality black ink fine line pen, tapered nib. It's made from recycled plastic as well, which is quite cool. Water-based pigment ink that is non-fading, water-resistant and acid-free. Okay, this doesn't make any sense and I wish they'd stop doing this. If you are going to provide someone with a wet medium, hello Viviva Sheets, I'm looking at you, why would you give someone a water-based fine liner? Now it says that it is water-resistant. I am not entirely sure how water resistant that's going to be. Um, so I will be interested to find this out and I'm going to test this rigorously uh, because generally speaking things that are water resistant, if you start slapping watercolour over them then they're usually not very resistant at all. But we, we shall see, we shall check that out. Bucking for watercolour paper, yeah we've had this kind of paper before, uh, it's made at St Cuthbert's Mill, yeah we've actually had this paper um, in a scroller box before. So the scroller challenge prompt as well, I love this as well, feeling buggy, that's hilarious, so uh, it's something to do with beasties, which is always good fun. Right, let's get down to business, I'm going to go get me some watercolour paper. Okay, I've got a couple of sheets of, uh, this is just cheap watercolour paper and I've been trying to get rid of it for centuries. <laughs> So first things first, I'm just going to get into the, the mince of this and uh, let's just get this fine liner on the go. It's not that fine either and I really I really don't, I'm not into fat fine liners. It does line very well and just by varying my pressure I can vary my line width. So that's always good when you are doing things like challenges. Um, if I press really hard, I've got a really thick line there as well. So, okay, so there's variation there, which is really nice. So it feels nice. I mean, it's a, it's a nice pen. I quite like it, but a water resistant things what's bothering me. Okay, pencil. I never found out the grade of this pencil. One click anti-breaking system, apparently. It doesn't actually tell you what grade the lead is. That's not very helpful. Recommended retail pr price of this pencil is 11 dollars uh, 11 sorry. Wow, that's an expensive piece of pencil and we don't even know what kind of lead's in it. I'm going to make the assumption that it's HB lead that's in it until proven otherwise, but yeah, that's really annoying. Okay, I'll try and figure it out from... Okay, let's just do a, a comparison here. Here's another HB. Oh, it might not be HB. I think it's harder than an HB. 
uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a mechanical pencil. I quite like using a mechanical pencil and I do use them reasonably often when I'm sketching and it's just because I don't have to sharpen them, they're quite good. Um, this feels okay though, this feels like quite a nice pencil. I don't know whether it's uh, it's worth 11 quid right enough, but as far as mechanical pencil goes, it's, it's pr pretty sweet. And it's nice to have a mechanical pencil in a scroller box for a change as well. So I'm actually quite liking this. I've just got a, a water brush here and I am gonna water the she heat out of this fine liner. Look at that. That's exactly what I was talking about. Oh boy. It might just be a case of it needs a while to dry, but this, this does not fill me with confidence. It isn't actually distorting the lines at any point, which is good, but it's leaving this really mucky sort of, I mean, look, I look like I can smear it and everything. Yeah, mm, not that impressed with that. So, if we're going to draw something for our scroller challenge, I will be painting in watercolour first, and once it's dry, then I will line it. That is the conclusion that I can come to for that. So the idea behind this is just to use a wet brush. I don't know why they just didn't give us a water brush rather than a traditional paintbrush. That would have made more sense in here as well. It would have just been a bit more sensible. So let's try some of these colours. I do have a water brush here and uh, I'm going to try that out. Um, I'm going to use the paintbrush in the scroller challenge but I'm not going to use it just now and it's just for ease of... Oh, even just putting that on there you can see that that's really vibrant. If I hold this up to the camera a little bit, see what I've dug my my brush and see how it's changed colour and it is actually really vibrant so let's have a little go with this. It does feel like normal watercolour and it's actually really nice. I quite like this. Look how deep and rich that colour is and I can just keep going and keep going. Yeah okay that's nice. Okay so deep pink's good. See, I'm kind of frightened to do that, but I suppose that's what it's for. Like this um, transparent sheet's almost like tracing paper. And that'll, that's to protect. Yeah, okay, right, I'm happy with that. Let's try one of these. Uh... Now I'm really curious for these ones, because these don't look blue at all, if you look at them in the light. One is uh, Viridian, and one is Peacock Blue. So I am going to go for Viridian, because that's kind of a colour that I like anyway. It looks red on here. This is bizarre. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at that. That is just absolutely delightful. It's going down really well on this paper as well. Yeah. Oh, these paints are beautiful. I really like these. I'm really excited because we've got paint again in the scroller box. I love getting paint in a scroller box. So that's the Viridian. Yeah, some of these colours are just absolutely delightful. I'm going to have to try the sap green as well. That's, funnily enough, that's something that Casey Golden and I have in common. Sap green is one of our favourite colours. That is, I think it is her favourite colour. Oh, look at that. Yeah. There we go. Well, I am impressed with these paints. I'm actually quite excited for doing something with our prompt. The only thing that's disappointing, a little bit disappointing in this box is the um, the fine liner situation but that's not the end of the world and there's still plenty that we can do with what we've got. Okay so quick recap, your September scroller box has the following. Awesome artwork by one of my favourite YouTubers, Casey Golden, and a postcard version for us to paint ourselves. Two sheets of 300GSM cold press watercolour paper, which is really nice paper as well. So that's pretty awesome. This uh, number six round Milan paintbrush. The Pentel, really expensive propelling pencil, or sorry, mechanical pencil, I always say propelling pencil. It's the same thing. And we also have this Windsor and Newton fine liner that's not quite as waterproof as we would like and last but certainly not least we have this Viva colour sheets which these are awesome I really like these and I'm really looking forward to working with them. As per usual we have our sweet our scroller box sticker with a nice watery design on it this time and of course our list of supplies. So that is your scroller box for September I want to thank you very much for coming to visit and watching this video and we shall see you back in the cave really soon for the scroller challenge. Have a good day everyone and bye for now.